Hey everyone, I'm Daniel, I'm CMO at Triple A Innovação. And I'm here with Aaron McDaniel, a great name too. <laughs> and we're here to talk about Global Class, which, by the way, you can explain it so much better than me, right? Sure. Thanks for having me, Daniel. So Global Class is a, a book, it's a playbook for how to build a company at global scale. So you're building a company not just for the Brazilian market, not just for Latin America, but for global scale. And, and basically, my co-author Klaus Vihe and I, we interviewed over 400 executives from the world's fastest growing companies to figure out how were you successful at scaling to new markets. And they all said we invented things up, we reinvented the wheel, wasted a lot of time and money. So we created a playbook for, uh, for how to scale globally. Awesome. And well, this book should be here in Brazil by the next year, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to have it published in Brazilian Portuguese uh, in 2024. And uh, we're also working on localizing it for the market. So a lot of what we talk about in the book is how to effectively localize for other markets. So we are, to use a, a Silicon Valley term where I'm from, we are drinking our own champagne. We're using the lessons we talk about. And so we're localizing it with great examples from top Brazilian companies who have been successful at scale. Awesome. And you're a bestseller at USA, right? Yeah, it was uh, number two on the Wall Street Journal bestseller list, a national bestseller as well. And besides Brazilian Portuguese, it's being translated in Korean, Chinese, Vietnamese, and a number of other languages as well. So we're, we're wanting to take these global class concepts to global scale ourselves. And well, one question I want to ask you is like 400 companies, right? Yeah help you build this yep. um, could you help us like understand at least like three factors that that actually show how how hard it is but uh, at the same time how at least we know what we have to do right sure um, so what are this, those three topics yeah so usually companies approach expansion one of two ways they either say we're gonna do things the same way that we were successful in Brazil we're just gonna do it everywhere you know we have universal value proposition or universal yeah. product market fit it that is never the, the case yeah. The other side is they say, we're just going to speed to market, iterate, do whatever it takes to find traction. That's great in one market, but if you do that in 10 markets, you tend to hit a wall and you realize we didn't prepare for scale. And so what we talk about in the book is what we call a, a global layer on the lean methodology. So that lean methodology doesn't work great in a bunch of different places, but with, with this, you're able to better manage complexity so that you can have the foundation for scale. Um, so that's an important thing. Secondly, it's about finding the right people. And what we did as part of the book is we invented a new word. So it's not a typo. Uh, it's not entrepreneur, but it's interpreneur as an yeah. international. And the idea is someone who has a global or excuse me, a, um, a growth mindset, but also a company mindset working in the complexity of an established organization, but also a global mindedness cultural curiosity, cultural sensitivity, the empathy to understand other markets, to localize a business for those markets. And we found these people are the catalyst for successful growth, so we are helping companies identify and nurture that talent so they have the right people globally. Uh, we also talk a lot about navigating differences in culture, uh, how do you be able to manage at scale. Uh, we, we talk about what we call momentum builders, where you create these structures to allow for two-way innovation. So it's not just headquarters, you know, the team in Brazil saying, here's how to do it. But when a great idea happens in Colombia or Peru or, or Portugal or Australia, they're able to then use that in different parts of, of the organization as you expand globally. You're sharp as a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and that book is actually with one of our founders, Ricardo Morin. So, well, if, if Ricardo Morin is ready to read this book, we're sure that there's so much that we are going to be able to talk about here at Triple Way Innovation. And it's not one last question, we could like, yeah. chat forever. And, and one thing real quick, that, that yeah, yeah. concept of being an entrepreneur, it really fits Ricardo really well. If you think yeah. about his experience in global markets and his mindset, and so that's the kind of mindset you want to have because that's what's going to mean success. It's always changing, we're always changing, we got to do that. Yeah. Um, and one question I have for you is like, there's nothing, there, there's not a, a, a fair question actually, but would you say that some methodologies here in Brazil or some, um, conversation styles or some business could actually be successful outside? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, one risk that we see happen with companies that come from big markets like Brazil, like the US, is they hard code everything for the home market. We're going to solve a Brazilian problem a Brazilian yeah. way and they don't build that flexibility into the model. So it's really important that Brazilian companies think about global markets, not just Latin America, but building their company for global scale. But at the same time, you know, and I come from Silicon Valley, we see so much opportunity and, and so many great innovations coming from Brazilian companies. That's why the Brazilian market is a priority market for us. So 
you know, there's so much there, there's so much talent, so much great technology. So we see a, a lot of potential with the Brazilian market and having this global class mindset really can unlock that potential. That's awesome. That's, that's what AAA tends to do, you know. So we, we produce content trying to show people um, that some things can be applied, um, some, some methodologies can be used. Um, of course, there's there's so much that we have to do right now to understand where to start, right? That's right. So, um, but but it's 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 an awesome point to think. But maybe I'm, I won't work as good as here as outside. Like it, it's it's actually empowering, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and I mean, with with this type of structure around things, this global layer and agile, I, I think most Brazilian companies they use that agile methodology to find product market fit here in Brazil. You can use those same muscles just with, with a little bit of tweaks and differences that we talk about in the book to be successful globally. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Best of success with your book here in Brazil. And, well, are you enjoying your stay here in Brazil? Oh, I love it. It's not the first time I've been here. I love it here. Excited to be here in Rio. We're going to be in Sao Paulo next week as well. Awesome. And uh, yeah, seeing a lot of potential from the market. Great. Well, thanks, everyone. This is one of our meetings and interviews over here at Web Summit Rio. And stay tuned for everything we're putting up together.